Alright everybody, welcome to 8-Bit Podcast. This is our first podcast, so don't expect anything too spectacular. My name is Jesse, I'm time to choose in-game in the guild 8-Bit, and I play on Kradia. And joining me are Ali and Landon, and they'll introduce themselves right now. Um, my name's Ali, I, my, uh, my in-game name is Kradiola. I play in Kradia. Um, I am in the guild 8-bit, and I'm a level 120 bowmaster. Uh, my name's Landon. I am Mass Scourge in-game. I play in Kradia. I'm a level 151 Aaron, and uh, I'm in 8-bit. Alright, so that's everybody. I should mention that my level, I'm 156 right now. I forgot to mention that. Anyways, let's begin to talk about what we did this week in Maple Story and honestly all I did was really grind and that's about it. Trying to get into merching but I'm pretty sure we all know how hard that can be sometimes. Yeah, I noticed that you were leveling up quite a bit. Yeah, it gets pretty hard. Higher level you get. That's how it goes yeah. I guess. What have you guys right. been doing? Um, I did, I just kind of sat there merchanting. I got, uh, my whole inventory is kind of full of 8 attack work gloves and, like, glove for attack work gloves. Uh, glove for attack scrolls, 60%. Um, the reason is, is because since, uh, school ended for most people, uh, summer inflation will go up. So it's going to be, like, 8 attack work gloves will probably be, like, 50 to 60 mil. Um, uh, glove for attack scrolls probably about, you know, 10 to 15 mil each. Yeah, um, and also, Dual Blade is coming out, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure about stocking up for Dagger Scrolls, because I've, I've talked to lots of people and they said not to, but it's either they're trying to stock up too and don't want competition, or... <laughs> yeah, that could be the case. I've been trying to get Dagger Scrolls myself, but I just ended up using them, so it's not working that great. Yeah, like, so, like whenever I try to... Um, Buy dagger scrolls or like dual bladers don't need uh, daggers or whatever. So I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> get them. Have to wait for blade scrolls to start dropping. Oh, yeah. What about you, Landon? What have you, you been doing this week? Uh, I didn't go on Maple that much, but when I did, I hunted a couple of dodos, um, the low level boss in Temple of Time. Um,. Uh, I got no drops except for like a couple of nine elixirs, which sucks. Also, I've been looking for a big for leech so I can get a toad and get a deputy star that I can sell for 40 mil. Yeah, well, hopefully um, I'll be able to do some big foots now that I have enough HP. Deputy star is like 50 mil now, by the way. Really? Nice. Yeah. I wonder this how hard it would be to farm those, like get a character up to level 70 or whatever the level is. And then yeah, my death. first character, Mass Creed, is level 70. I still haven't got a deputy star on me. So that's why I'm mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah, you can make a lot of money off that. Yeah. Well, let's move into uh, the guild plans for the future. I know I haven't really talked about much to either of you, but uh, Ali... We have a uh, expansion coming up that we've talked about between uh, mm -hmm. Landon and Mike, and that's going to be well. I don't really want to announce it right now, but it's going to be pretty big, and it's going to be pretty exciting for everybody. So I'm going to be like the last person to know. Uh, well, I'll tell you after the podcast so that you're in the know. Awesome. Other than that, we're getting some events lined up to coincide with that expansion and to coincide with the dual blade being released, which uh, I want to talk about. I want to talk about our predictions of when dual blades will be released into Global Maple Story. I believe it's going to be um, July 14th around there. That's my prediction. What about you guys? Um, July 16th. Um, it's Well, I know Maple Story Wikipedia isn't actually the most reliable source, but... Uh, they said 16th, and also most of the events are actually ending on the uh, 15th, 16th, so I kind of expect it to be around July 16th. Yeah, that's where I got patch. my prediction was from the ending of the quest. What about you, Landon? Yeah, I think, well, since all the quests and stuff 
an event or ending on the 16th, I think. Then they're going to announce Dual Blades on the 16th, and it's going to come out the next Wednesday. Yeah, cause, yeah, they do the patches all on Tuesdays or whatever, Tuesday nights. So yeah, that could be a very good possibility. Well, I guess you never know with Nexon. Yeah, that's true. And the patch could take, it could even take a whole week, who knows. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Um, like a month to fix all the bugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then another week to fix all the bugs. That's how it usually goes, which is kind of. Hopefully, retarded. next one will actually listen to us one day. <laughs> yeah, I want them to fix the uh, the rev- the new Ravana boss. The entrance to the Golden Temple is glitched right now, and I I really want to go in there. Oh yeah, they um, posted something on the website. It's oh. like they um updated the glitches for this patch, and they said that they're fixing um those bugs. They still haven't fix, uh, announced that they're fixing the buddy bug. Oh, right. So you, you, you can only can't delete. delete buddies when you're offline, when they're yeah. offline. Yeah, that's pretty retarded. Mm. But that's how it goes with Nexon. Speaking yeah. of classes, the mechanic class, what do you guys feel about that? That was uh, released, in, or it was announced. It, nothing has really been leaked out yet, more than a couple images that don't really show much of the mechanic class, but what uh, um, do you guys think? Today, I found out that on Spado's blog, or Spado's blog, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, he showed us the kind of mechanic mounts. They look awesome. Um, it's kind of like the Evan, right? With the dragon? Yeah, but um, they also, yeah, so they kind of hop on their mechanic, like their yeah. robot kind. From the it images really nice. that I can see on Spado's blog, it looks like there's a chair and controls uh, on top of this um, mount. So it's kind of like a mech. It can be yeah. attacked yet. Um, but it looks like it ha- can have attachable guns and uh, different kinds of things. Yeah, um, what weapon do you think they're going to be using in mechanic? Well, in your mechanic? Uh, I honestly, I haven't even thought about that really. Because I don't think. I would imagine Mechanic would use, say, like, wrenches and stuff like that, but we don't have anything like that besides the monkey wrench. Yeah, um, I think that they're going to be using blunt weapons and kind of maces. The reason is because, um, if you read closely, the balance patch, the new one in Korean Maple Story Tespia, um, well, basically, they're removing blunt weapons for paladins and pages, so... I think the re- the reason is because they want to have blunt weapons for the mechanic job. Uh, I think they may not even have weapons altogether. I think they may be solely, like, completely using their mounts as weapons. Hmm. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll have to wait for the insider Spado to uh, post something about that. Yeah, I guess he's he's not the first one to predict stuff, like, or, not not predict, but release stuff. Yeah, there's because, a couple more that I've seen, but I've only really been on Spados. Yeah. Yeah, he like, got those sense. new images of the mechanic mounts off of the uh, Taiwanese Maple Story website. So yeah. does that mean Taiwanese is going to get it before Korean Maple Story? Uh, no, I think what happened... Oh, sorry, go on. Um, I don't know. You go ahead. Oh, well, I, what I think what happened is... That, because the Taiwanese um, Maple Story got kind of a uh, kind of big patch, and they're kind of adding a bit of information from like all the different new jobs coming out. So maybe they just kind of messed up, and so they just added everything all in at once. Maybe because um, per, like I think Nexon Korea has been developing these classes for a while, but they're only kind of starting to release it now. Well, I I've noticed when I made that. User interface for uh, the guild 8 bit, which you could find at 8bitguild.com. Anyways, when I was going through there and finding the images, uh, the developers for Global Maple Story just left like all the Korean images, like they have Korean and on them, they just left them in the files, so they didn't bother removing any of that. Uh. So I think that's kind of lazy on their part, but there yeah. there has been translation issues in the past, and you can even notice now with some quests that the translation between Korean and into English is kind of uh, messed up. Yeah. 
there there are quite a bit of grammar. Yeah, errors. lots of grammar errors for sure. So the mechanic class. Let's talk oh, yeah. about the the resistance classes as a whole. I know the the wild hunter and then I forget what the mage is called. Battle mage. Battle mage, right. Now those are the two that have been <coughs> covered and that have they been officially released into the test server or are they coming to the test server? Um, I think they're out right now. Yeah, I think they're out the regular game of the store. So I've never played uh an archer past level thirty, to be honest. But mm-hmm. Ali, you have, so tell us well, what do you think about the Wild Hunter? Um, well, I think they're going to become kind of nerfed. But the reason they have like such high damage, as you see in this video, is because in Korean Maple Story, they have percent equipment. So um, they kind of have, like, uh, say your strength is uh, 200, just for an example. And like then you have a 20% increase on strength, so that will kind of boost your damage quite a bit. And, um... Yeah, but, uh, I'm kind of angry, but I guess every kind of job is angry. Cause, like, even with this balance patch, Corsairs are probably angry right now that uh, the new generation kind of get it easier. Yeah, and with the balance patch, later on in version 2, there's the nerf patch, which we'll talk about later. That kind of upsets me as an Aaron, but we'll yeah. get into the details of that later on. But let's continue about the Wild Hunter. Um, yeah, so... But they kind of, I guess they fight on their mounts. If you if you've seen any of those videos. Uh, what kind of mount of, do they have? Kind of like a panther. Oh right, yeah, panther. I've seen that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they kind of fight on the mount, and but they have kind of awesome skills, which kind of bugs me. <laughs> and now like, uh, they have, um, in Korean Maple Story, the, in the new balance patch, they kind of. Uh, experience reduction by like different percent. So like, um, it's it's kind of weird. Uh, it's not really a twenty five percent decrease or something. It's kind of each level has a certain amount of decrease. I find it strange that they increase the exp curve and then later down the road they're gonna decrease it again. Yeah, I uh, don't really know. Yeah, what do you think about Wild Hunters Landing? Um, I don't really see the point in that class. I mean, yeah, maybe it's like a perfect archer class, uh, but there's already two, right? Um, has ultimates, which is good, and noticing the panther, um, thinking about mechanic class, it's not unrealistic to think that the mechanic will be having an attacking mount as well. Yeah, I never thought about that. So you guys think that the wild hunters will be able to attack on their panthers? Yeah. Oh, the mechanic maybe. Are you talking about? Oh, the mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. M- perhaps. Well, do you think uh, having mounts attack is going to become a theme in the future of Maple Story when they continue to add more classes? Because um, with the I- Evans, their dragon, they use that as their mount to transport, and they also use it as a main attack. And I think they're trying something new out. Do you think that they're just trying something new? Yeah, just trying to bring it to the masses, but they kind of really need to cut down on releasing the classes every couple of months. Yeah, it's really hard for users who uh, aren't able to... Uh, it's not that they're not able to stick to one character, that they just find it harder to train along the line, and then they see a new class, and they see that as an opportunity to maybe try those levels again. And uh, if they're yeah, yeah. releasing these classes every couple months, then it just gets hard to it get, yeah. get high-level like people I, in MapleStory. I kind of have to try every class, if you get me. I have one of each class. Like my Aaron, he's level 71, and I kind of just wanted to get the ring. But my um, Evan, or Evan, I'm not sure you pronounce it. How do you guys pronounce it? I say Evan. All right, yeah, Evan. let's stick to Evan. Okay, so, um, yeah... I would have got it to a higher level, but um, I, I kind of, you know, they didn't have any good scrolls, like, when you level up to 70, and plus the time limit on them were kind of ridiculous, like, to get to level 70 in a week or something. 
as for me, like I'm going to school and stuff, so there's pretty hard. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble leveling up my Evan to get the glasses. It was just a painful experience. I did not like them at all. Yeah, I never. <laughs> I didn't even get my glasses to be honest. I tried, but I didn't I have do mine. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the uh, the cruel ring that they have. I came with the balance patch. Um, Me too. Yeah. Let's talk about that, the balance patch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Shadowers got the best of it. They got the like the best uh, balance, I guess. Oh, yeah. But I'm not sure what the other classes got. I know Fire Arrow was increased for the Fire Poison Mages. Corsairs um, can now attack close. Yeah, that's so much better for my Slinger. So easy. I made like a new gunslinger, and he's he got he's like level thirty nine now or something. I still haven't done the what's it called Golden Temple today. So and the Golden Temple is amazing experience. Yeah, I heard it's basically like two times experience in there. It's like three times. Like it's crazy experience. Like I level up three times at my level in thirty minutes on two times uh, family rep. You gotta remember though that this. Uh it's just another way of Nexon for a cash grab because you do need, like, you can enter once a day, but other than that, you yeah. don't need to spend NX to get in there. Um, I, I guess. Oh, sorry, Gon. Sorry. Uh, kind of gets on my nerves that Nexon keeps adding this cash up stuff. It's making Nexon America that does all the um, Nexon cash um, exploits for, like, even with Evans. They have the uh, mastery books and cash up. I yeah. guess the same thing's happening with dual bladers too. Yeah. Um, you have to buy mastery books, but um, for the resistance classes, you don't need to. But I guess they need to get some money from developing the classes. And Nexon America doesn't kind of dis- ultimately decide. Nexon Korea kind of decides for them what they're gonna implant in their game, because they can't really, because they could take everything from Nexon Korea and just add it in the game like that. Yeah, but I think it would be nice if we saw more original global Maple Story content like uh, Crimson New Wood City. And New, yeah, New Leaf City. Uh, I'd like to see an expansion to that overall, like yeah, Crimson like, Wood Keep 2. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something, I forgot. Uh, I would like to see, um, like, you know how they're making the episodes, the, like, really easy episodes, for, like, uh, all the explorers. Yeah. For, like, those really crappy bosses with the hats and shit. Right, that was episode one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they added Evans to the Magician class and Aaron's to the Warrior class so they could do that as well. I was just hoping that they would do the same for it because it would keep PQ. Yeah, it mm-hmm. kind of disappoints me that I can't get uh, a Mon because that would help me out a lot. Yeah. Um. So how do you guys feel about the balance patch? Like the one in... Uh, testing right now for errands. Uh, then, th- well, I call that the nerf patch because yeah. it's pretty bad. They took Combo Tempest, which does 1,500% damage to boss monsters, and they nerfed wow. it all the way down to 600%. That's <laughs> more than half, and that's, that's yeah. an upsetting. Ass yeah, it it sucks. And I know, and they added the 30 second delay to Mage Ultimates, so that includes Blizzard and Meteor and uh, I think that's Genesis. A godsend, though. Yeah, that's going to prevent leeching. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I think about that? It's I don't think they should all quit. Kind of. I think the reason they did that is to prevent leeching, and um, also another thing, they won't be like kind of really bad at training. Um, because the whole revamp thing, it, they kind of changed all the maps, all the monster levels, so like all your monster book cards are kind of going to be disappeared after this kind of revamp, kind of nerf patch. Um, they changed how all the cities look, everything. They're pretty yeah, much changing Maple they, Story. They oh, made, really? Um, all the towns like smaller, they changed the map and they changed the world map of Victoria Island. Well, I'm okay if they make Hennessy smaller because that's just a very long map. It's still pretty big, but they made um, Perion and Kerning a lot, and uh, Alenia or El- I, how do you pronounce that? Um, uh, I say Alenia. Yeah, Alenia. They made it quite a bit smaller, but Hennessy's is pretty big overall. But yeah. they kind of changed the layout of it. Well, like, you gotta fit all the Henny hoes in there, anyways. <laughs> Another thing with this nerf patch is they 
um, all the monsters that we know are like almost going to cease to exist, but well, not technically, but their well, levels are going to be increased. That's a lot. Increased. So that's another thing to uh, prevent leeching, I think, because you have to be within five levels to leech experience from it. Yeah. So maybe this is their idea to prevent leeching. Like I saw a screenshot of Newties, and they're like level 145 or something. Yeah, that's pretty insane. From level 90, I think it was. Yeah, level 105 actually. Yeah, that's a pretty big increase for their level. I was sitting there for hours upon hours <laughs> grinding them. Yeah, that's a popular <laughs> spot to grind on your. I know it's popular for ranged classes because they can just snipe. Yeah, but rangers have it so hard, and um, snipers. Oh. oh. It is so bad. Eight hours to level up on one times. You rarely see any crossbowmen fourth job. I never mm. I haven't seen very many at all. Or paladins. Or paladins, but I think there may be more coming up in the future because of this balance patch. Yeah, but mm. Who um, knows? guys, we forgot to talk about Battle Mage. Right, Battle Mage. Um oh, yeah. they have it's kind of an alter ego to the bishop. It's basically a dark bishop, am I correct? Well, yeah, mostly, kind of. well, they have like one skill, which is dark genesis, which has already like a 50 second cooldown, I think. Which I it, think ultimate sh should be like, they shouldn't be used to spam. Yeah, the yeah. dual blade ultimate has a delay too, doesn't it? Yes. Um, they, They're kind of like a necromancer. If you got me. Right, because yeah, they, they right. have those little cool... I've seen a video of it, and they summon these little cool things. Like little oh, reapers. Yeah. Yeah, After you kill a monster, they kind of transform at a certain percent. Yeah, like every time you kill a monster, they spawn out of the box. So you can literally have like 20 of, things, 20 of these things roaming around a map, killing um, while you're doing your own thing. That's pretty neat. I always said they should add kind of like a necromantic class. Um... What classes would you guys like to see? If you guys could make a class, what would you add? Um, a shaman. Kind of like a a healer? Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like, um... Uh, well, maybe. i got to think about that. I haven't... Landon, you go. You tell. I'll um, think about it. Uh, you're going to call me, like, a Twilight fag for this, but <laughs> I would like to see, like, a vampire class... Because, like, just imagine it, that is like this thing where as you use your spells, your skin gets, like, fucking blue and you get veins and shit, which would be awesome. That's yeah. pretty far-fetched, though. But you get, like, drained skills and shit because you're drinking their blood and blah, blah, blah. That's going to be really cool and you can transform into different bats and other monsters and shit. Transformation about, would be cool. That that leads into the class that I like to see. I would like to see um, kind of like a druid class. I think yeah. that would be cool. Mm. I think you're a Diablo two fanboy. No, um, World of Warcraft fanboy. <laughs> I've never played World of Warcraft, <laughs> 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 but I know that you have. Oh yeah. But I kind of, I'm kind of really bored of it now. It's just uh, not my thing. Well, I kind of go back to it kind of for a week or so, and then I kind of get bored. I'm like, this is pointless. You're just grinding. Uh, Do you ever get annoyed at the uh, monthly fee? Allie? I think his mic failed. Oh, I guess so. Well, anyways, um, I don't think... Sorry, I, I was on mute. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. What do you think about like the... Uh, I'll just edit that out. All right, cool. Uh, what do you think about the, the $10 a month? Oh, for... Um, wow. Yeah. Well, um, it's $20 a month in Canada and the U.S. and kind of like £10 a month in England. Um... Well, I guess it's it's not really worth it. I kind of if it it was priced in half, then it'd be okay to play. But it's just sitting there, um, grinding equipment, and you can only do like one raid per week. And it's just I wish you could do it more. Then it would be kind of fun. But come on, like Zakum, you can do all, like all the time. But would you uh, would you 
pay to play Maple Story. Yeah, that's uh, what I was going to ask next. If, uh, say that Nexon um, added this thing where you could pay uh, a monthly fee uh, and they would add more high level content instead of fucking uh, cash up shit, would you pay? Um, uh, yeah, I probably would. But they would have to kind of more customer support. Yeah, for definitely. One. Uh, instead of like taking uh, like a week to a month to respond or over a month. Like uh, I had to wait about, um, I don't know, like three months to get my ticket response and they didn't even resolve my thing. Yeah, when about... I got banned for misconduct on Time to Choose, I filed a ticket the same day. And it was a one month ban, and I was unbanned before I, I didn't even get a response. I closed it myself. <laughs> so that's pretty pathetic on their part, I think. Would you guys pay? Um, yeah, I think I would pay. If they added a, uh, more content for the loyal players, I think I would pay, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if they added playable content. Meaning, like, new places, new monsters, so that it would feel like training at, like, level 120 at level 190. Yeah. Um, the uh, reason, you know how the Maple Story kind of interface in Korean Maple Story changed? Yeah, and they yeah. included the, uh, the resolution increase for widescreen and such. Thank God. Yeah, as I think we're all widescreen users right here. And uh, yeah. that's I like that. I want to see that. I hate having the stretched maple. Yeah, yeah well, what I, they did. I have to change my resolution down to a fucking square, and then open my maple story so I can window it, and then change it back, which is just a pain in the ass. Wait, what do you do? Um, cause I, so, um, I have to change my background resolution to like a resolution that's square, so that maple story uh, can work. Cause if yeah. uh, if I use my regular Resolution, then it won't let me uh, window mode Maple Story. Mm-hmm. It's just like a giant stretched piece of shit on my screen. Uh, um. Yeah. So I guess what they did is, um, since they changed the interface, I think it looks okay. But instead of those check marks, they should have actual symbols. Like I kind of like that. Those those coins for cash shops. Yeah, like they and, do in the one right now in global. Yeah, I think they will change it. It's just um. It's kind of like a secret for them, kind of just, oh, look at this, we're changing the interface a bit. Yeah. Um, when they released it public, um, and what they did is they made the experience bar bigger, so you can actually see, it actually feels like you're leveling, instead of just sitting there spamming, like, um, uh, a skill for hours and just gaining, like, one little bar. Yeah, that'll make a difference, too, I think, so... Yeah. Because sometimes uh, back in the day, back in beta, when all you had to train on was monsters on Victoria Island, I would just cover oh, yeah. my EXP bar and then look at it, peek at it every once in a while, and I would feel like I was leveling up faster. <laughs> I remember training my first warrior um, right after beta uh, in Pig Beach to like level 35, <laughs> and I thought it was a good experience. Yeah, and then uh, when the Iron Hog showed up, you'd have to find some high-level player to kill him for you. Yeah. <laughs> or and high level reach. back then was level 70. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, a high level like back then was kind of 51 plus. Kind yeah, of. that was uh, that was considered high. I yeah. yeah nowadays, it's like 120 isn't considered <laughs> shit. It's yeah, you you have all these quests to help you along the way. You can pretty much get to level 50 solely on quests and party quests. I think 70 just on quests will do it. Especially now with, um, uh, I forgot, Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, and this, uh, this nerf patch that Cam has got, um, level 200 people will be able to go into pretty much any PQ, um, with the exception of them being, uh, probably, like, hard mode, so that it wouldn't be, like, super hard for, like, level, low level people. Is that just for level 200 people? Well, yeah, they're adding it so that the minimum level and the maximum level is of 200. Oh, okay. So, like, say, um, uh, Kerning PQ, you can go in at, like, 
level 172 and help out some noobs. Alright. But you can't do, like, um, uh, Carnival PQ or any competitive party quests. There's only a certain list. Oh, well. Well, that's better than not being able to go in at all, I guess. Yeah. I guess the reason they did that is so, like, you can get, um, the monster card from the drops. So, say, like, um, Slime King, you can get the monster card at, like, level 200, oh, even though. Yeah, that makes sense, because you can't really go back and do it yeah. if you can't go in the PQ. Another thing I like about the nerf patch is uh, they're changing the HP and the MP for every class to be more balanced, so I'm pretty sure everyone's like going to get Like the, uh, the max MP and stuff? Yeah. Well, Wait, one. um, tell me about this. I didn't hear about this. Yeah, it was in the extractions that I found on selfparry.net. It's a good place to look for new patches and stuff. Um, anyways, yeah, they're... Along with all the skill changes and stuff, they're um, fixing all the HP and MP of all the classes. Mm -hmm. That would be good for errands because <laughs> it's kind of a pain to have so little HP for a class that can deal out good damage. Yeah. Um. Mm. So, um. How's everybody? <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, well, let's talk about, uh, what's that? Um, Landon, I think your TV is, like, pretty loud, isn't it? Yeah. Can we do anything about that? <laughs> uh, press the yellow button when you're not talking. Quick, like, we can zoom this in the time. With yellow button. Well, I think that... Uh, we covered pretty much everything that we were going to talk about, haven't we? Um, I got. Are you guys going to make a duel later? I will be making a duel later. I will be. Yes, I will definitely be making one. And uh, I've said this before, for every character I make, I want to finish all of the quests. And who knows if I'll do it or not, but I want to do it and I'm going to set my mind to it. Mm -hmm. I will sit there, like, because I, I hate kind of unfinished quests. Yeah, because they rack up really quickly, and then you have, like, hundreds of unfinished quests. And I yeah, kind of have OCD, so I really want them off. Yeah, even though it's slow leveling, it's still kind of, you know, getting the metal quest specialist. Yeah, that's pretty uh, impressive. I, when I see people that have that uh, metal, it's kind of impressive to see, because I know how many quests they've had to do to get it. Yeah. Or the... Uh, the Monster Hunter one, too, where you have to kill one million of a monster higher level than you. Yeah. That That's a pain to do at high levels, because you can't actually kill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do that when you're young. When you're young, you level. But I think, uh, what, what account are you making it on? Are you gonna go for the level 12 Blessing of Fairy? Yeah, I will, actually. I'm gonna, so I can get the, um, well, yeah, I kind of will probably make it on the same account. It's a lot easier to navigate through and everything. Yeah. What about you, Landon? Yeah, I'm going to delete uh, my main character. Well, not my main, but my first character in Creative, which was, uh, oddly enough, um, a chief bandit. So I'm going to delete that guy, and then I'll get a nice uh, level 15 blessing for my Aaron. Nice. Yeah, that really makes a difference. When I made my new mage for to get the cruel ring... I'm doing it for my dual layer, actually. I'm going to get the cool ring, put it in storage, same. and then, yeah, you're doing the same? Mm hmm Except I'm not going to put it in the storage until they actually come out, just in case I accidentally take it out on my Bowmaster. Or... Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I can see myself doing that. <laughs> and then I'll be like, ah! Yeah, then um, you'd be kicking yourself in the face. Do you know how long <laughs> this uh, Explorer ring quest uh, do you know how long it's, like, good for? Um, yeah, uh, wait. I think it's, like, the until next patch or something. Yeah, probably till the next, like, big event patch. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how do you guys feel about all these mounts coming out? The one-year ones? Uh, which ones are those, like, the Lowrider and stuff like that? 
Yeah, like the trucks and the kind of lions. Oh, I seen the lion the other day, and it doesn't really look like an intimidating lion, really. It's kind of like a, a kitten. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> the Pilbater one looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're neat looking, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. These cost NX, correct? Um, You need to buy Gachapon, but you can buy them without NX. You can just go to the free market. Oh, are these and the stores. ones with the stamps? Um, no, the stamps are crazy. You have to, uh... Yeah, you have, to other stamps. you have to spend like $500 to get the stamp quest or whatever, to get it done. Yeah, like five, $550 to get one, like, to get the best stamp item. That's, what, what that that's is. ridiculous. But there are, there are, um, MTS merchers that can get that much NX pretty easily. Yeah, um, it's the Horntail chair, 550k. Oh, I like the. Have you guys seen the stone golem hand chair? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty cool. It costs about like two hundred mil. I was gonna get it, but then I was like, ah. Uh. Yeah. What's uh? Well, let's talk about that. What are your favorite chairs? Um. Well, I had. Uh, before we get to that, can I just um? I had a taru totem. You know what those are? Those are like to make. Um, face stompers and stormcaster gloves and stuff like that. Yeah, you were telling me about that on Maple. And basically, <laughs> well, I'll just like tell the listeners. And what basically what happened? I sold it for three hundred mil. And after I sold it, I went to the I browsed the free market and I noticed that there was this um, tiger head I needed to make face stompers. It was a hundred thirty mil, and I was like, I was like kicking myself. Oh. Like, <laughs> That's face horrible. planting myself like on the keyboard. I was so angry because I could have made face stompers with like 900 mil, but instead I sold my Taru totem for 300 mil. And I thought there weren't any um, heads like tiger heads in Crowdia, but because uh, they're so rare and Crowdia is so empty. Yeah, that's pretty bad luck, man. Mm. Bad time. life. Yeah, that's life. That's maple life. Uh, Landon. Yeah, so my- What's your favorite chair, Landon? I think Landon's uh, on mute. Um, my favorite chair, uh, I don't know, I would say like the World's End or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. the World's End and the Bloody Rose are pretty cool. I had the Bloody Rose chair. Yeah, that's, I sold it. that's the one with the falling leaves, right? You sold it? Yes. How much for it? <laughs> like, um, 150 mil. It's only worth like a hundred mil or less. Oh really? I feel bad spending a hundred mil on a chair though. Yeah. I, actually, um, these new chairs that are coming out that I think is releasing, like the Zach and the Hornchell chair. That's what yeah. I really want. The Zach and oh, chair is badass. Yeah, it is. I love the Zachum chair. <laughs> Speaking of Zachum, uh, we went in. A, uh, who came with this? It was Mike and Love Sword Thirteen. Uh, we went into Zachum, and we actually managed to get to the third body, and it was all good, and I was excited. I was like, yes, finally, I'm going to beat my first Zachum, which is kind of my shameful secret that I've never beat an entire <laughs> Zachum. But I was like, yes, we're going to beat Zachum. And then we got to the third body, and the person who was hyperbodying me DC'd, and then the bishop Aww. DC'd, and then Love Sword, who was going to solo the third body, he DC'd. So I was left in there all alone trying to solo the third body until I eventually did combat step into his body and died. Uh. <laughs> but that's happened more than once, so. Well, I guess you're not alone. I haven't beat Zekum. Oh, you haven't beat him either? <laughs> no. Uh, I think I've Landon's... never been on like a big boss. I would love to organize some boss runs for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, so my favorite chair, I guess it's probably, well, the Horntail one looks awesome, but <laughs> it's $550 if you convert it, like about $500. Um, yeah, but um, otherwise, it's probably like the Zachum chair. Speaking of chairs, do you notice um, when you click on a character, the character ID, you have a chair icon thing, and you push over and it shows all the chairs? Yeah, I noticed oh, that. Yeah. Um, there's a glitch, so you can actually exclusive. put it back. Oh, oh really? Glitch that sticks open? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that this is exclusive to um, Global Maple Story, which is weird. Yeah. Is it really? It's actually pretty nice, like, looking at p- other people's chairs. Yeah, I'm sure all the chair collectors are kind of touching themselves over that. 
Yeah, <laughs> I saw this one guy in the FM. He was just like showing off all his chairs, and I clicked on him. He had like all the chairs, pretty much, except the Horntail one. Yeah, if you go on Sleepy Wood, they have a a list of like uh, like records that they're building, and there's a record for someone who has most chairs, and they actually have a full inventory, and then they bought NX to extend their their setup inventory, and then they have mm-hmm. even more chairs into in the second column. That's a lot of chairs. That's a lot of miso. Have you ever bought one of those extensions? Uh, I bought in the use extensions for more pots, which is probably the most useful one. Yeah. Or the storage one is useful too, I think. Yeah. I hate, like, I, I wish I bought it, but it's kind of pretty expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. an extra slot. There's one that with uh, eight slots, and then there's one for 16 slots. And, or there's one for four, and then one for eight, right? Um. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a better deal to get the one for eight slots. Like, you spend a bit more NX, but you just end up ripping yourself off. Yeah. I might just do that one day. Because it's kind of a pain transferring items, like, from one character to the other one when you want to train. Yeah, it is. But if you have multi-MS, it makes it a bit easier. Yeah. Or you can, uh, if you have 64-bit, you can just, you know, switch user. Yeah. And you can find another account. Landed. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about a screenshot that I had seen online, which was a guy who had Max Miso on his character, and he also had Max Miso in his storage, and I didn't know that you could do that. They could have Max Miso in both, but that's a lot of Miso. That's 4 billion Miso. Oh yeah, you can have um, Max Miso on any character you want in one account. So on each character, you can have Max Miso. Yeah, I didn't know you could put it in the storage and on your character. I didn't know that. Hmm. But maybe Crazy. one day I'll have two billion me, so I'm sure I probably spent that much, but I just can't save it. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. That's like having like thirty trillion dollars to yourself in real life. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's ever bought um two billion worth worth of NX. I'll check um how much they it costs actually. My friend showed me this one website. I've never actually bought any Meso online. Have you guys? Uh, well, it's against the terms of service, but I have bought Meso online before. Mm. And, uh, I've actually... It worked out pretty good. I didn't get scammed or anything. Yeah, I've actually never bought it. I, I never actually needed to buy any. Um, okay, so, uh, it costs about $230 for 2000 a uh, million miso, so that's two billion for one hundred thirty dollars United States dollars. If I had any extra money, that I would do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> if I was, if I won the lottery. Speaking oh, yeah. of the lottery in Canada, here is fifty million dollars. I had, I got a lottery ticket for my mom for my birthday, and I didn't win. So you guys don't get anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how lotteries go, though. You should buy another oh, one. Yeah, I should get another one. Guys, um, I'm watching a video right now. Uh, ca- uh, Korean Maple Story testing. They're showing uh, the new um, El Nath, Orbis, and Liddy. How different do it's, they look? Um, well, they are quite a bit different. Tell you the truth, um, it's kind of smaller. I kind of. I don't know why they're making all the maps kind of smaller and not as challenging to go through. Uh, I don't really see, honestly, I don't see a need to make the map smaller. It's yeah. just kind of catering to the lazy players, I guess. Yeah, Most but I guess it does take some time to get through. Yeah, I guess it does place. take time, but a lot of the towns already have portals that you can just skip across. Yeah, um, I wish they had less NPCs, if you get me. Yeah, yeah like, like the... maybe more cities, but with these NPCs kind of, or more maps in the city or town, like so they scatter across, not like yeah. NPC after NPC. How about that kind of gets like me annoyed. in Hennessy, they have the the Seven Eleven NPC. What the hell does that guy do? Seven <laughs> Eleven probably paid like yeah. a whole bunch of money to them. And yeah, it's for us. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. He's been there forever. Oh yeah, I remember they took him out once. Um, when they were first giving, like, having prepaid cards, um, they, like, put him in, and then after the event, for, uh, after the month event, 
uh, where like if you log in every day, that was a couple of years ago. If you logged in every day, you kind of got like 100 um, maple points or whatever, or 250. It, it was kind of random, and the guy was there, so you had to like. Uh, it was kind of for new, um, Thanksgiving, and you had to kind of go up. Um, it was kind of like when Amoria was released, so you had to go up to mother and father in okay, Tennessee yeah. you know, at one place. You had to uh, get their quest, do their quest, and then they kind of gave you a sack of money, and then you go buy NX kind of cards, and then you double click on it. You don't double click on it. After the event is over, they kind of like take all of those cards from your inventory and transfer them to an X. So I got like 2K and X. Oh, really? Yeah, I kind of remember yeah. that. Not vaguely. I remember doing it, but I don't remember the details. Oh, yeah. That's something that we could talk about in a podcast in the future is quests and uh, how they affect. We've already talked about it a little bit, but how they affect uh, players, new players, and old players alike. Uh, we could save that for a future one because I could see that being a topic uh, that we could talk long and hard about. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff I could talk about. Quests. Yeah, <laughs> sure, Landon <laughs> does too. I just want to like blurt it out now. Uh, did you guys notice um, on a resistance related note that they didn't have a um, class trailer? Like Aaron's, they had a trailer, and then Evans had a trailer, Two Blades. Uh, resistance, mm-hmm. they had nothing. So they just came out? Yeah, they just came out, like, flopped out of a hillbilly's vagina. Just all of us. What were you saying? Oh, the, I was just checking on uh, Basal Market, and they have a dragon skull chair. So you basically sit in, like, a kind of dragon head. Oh, I've seen that before. It's like a skull, right? Dragon yeah. Skull. Have you guys ever sold yeah. anything on Basil before? Mm, yeah. I No, I haven't sold anything. I bought one. Like, this one thing once for really cheap. They actually have pretty good deals, but since Cardia is so empty, it's kind of... You can't really buy anything there. Yeah, I don't see many deals in Caradia. I sold a mastery book there once for fifty million. Nice. Um, other than Maple, uh, what games have you guys been playing? Um, COD Six, and you called me a hacker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see that whenever someone has does better than me or kills me, I call them a hacker. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Uh. Well, Maple Story, um, Club Penguin. Jo- I was joking. Um, <laughs> really like uh, I've actually so just, I've been on that before, to be honest. Me too. I used to play. I hop on it once in a while now. Um, the nothing. I've been watching E3, kind of, but it's since it's over now. Yeah, E3. I think uh, we should save that. Uh, maybe on our next one, because there's a lot of stuff I could talk about E3 about. I mean, right. just, unless you want to touch on it a bit here right now. Um, I'll just say, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Listen to our next podcast. Yeah, listen to the next podcast. We'll talk about some E3, if you guys all agree. Yeah, Yeah, totally. I could talk about that for a long time. I kind of want. I kind of want to talk about it now, but it'll go on way too long. We're already at fifty minutes, believe it or not. Yeah. Okay. So we have like um, E3 quests. We can talk about that. Okay. So the Ravana helmet. Um, it has eighteen, eighteen everything, eighteen plus eighteen. Everything. Yeah, that's a pretty decent helmet. Yeah, and then sixty HP. Yeah, that's like the MP. best helmet to come to MS, isn't it? Like it's better than yeah. Zagam. Yeah, it's better than my Scarline too. I need to get it, so then I can just put my Zakum helmet on my dual blader. Do you guys know if it's going to be uh, be able to use Scissors of Karma on it? I think so, but nobody has got it yet because of the glitch. So. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to trade it. Another thing that came out of this patch was the uh, Android set, where you can make it in your main skill, and it's basically, it has, it's the first item for GMS that adds a set bonus. So if you have, like, two Android items equipped, then you get a bonus. Or if you have all five equipped, then you get a bonus. And basically, you, they're the Android shoes, uh, legs, the top, and the gloves and the hat. But the thing is, it's another cash-off exploit where you have to get the uh, 
items to make them in make, make, uh, Maker Scale from Cash Up, which is pretty much bullshit. So, do you have to pretend to be in Dragon Ball Z to wear the Android set? <laughs> no. Uh, it's actually kind of pretty similar to, like, the uh, Vegeta's armor, which is funny. It's kind of purple. Hmm. Yeah, and it has the breastplates, and it's weird. Yeah. And legs, vest, pretty cool. Um, I was going to say something, I forgot. Oh, um, do you guys... All Sorry. the armor is based off of uh, one of them monsters from uh, Neos... Neo City. I forget what it's called. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Is it the one in the last levels? Uh, it's that... It has, like, a it's jet like pack. a girl with green hair and it flies around. Yeah. Have you guys done, Have you guys seen the gargoyle mount? Uh, I've seen it been won, but I haven't seen someone riding around on it yet. They look awesome. <laughs> Too bad it only lasts for a year. Yeah, there's there those 15 day ones that kind of seem redundant. Yeah. I, it's kind of worth the money for the one year one. Oh, now they have permanent cash up items. Yeah, that's something centers. they added, and that's pretty good. I could see myself buying a permanent transparent hat for sure. Guys, and now I'm not the only one that has permanent items. You know that event that was like a while ago, uh, about like a year like 10 or something months ago where we could get like the uh, it was like two and a half times the price for permanent items yeah. I like bought myself out head to toe and now I'm not the only one who has permanent items which kind of sucks <laughs> yeah I didn't even know they were gonna add something like that you know what they need to add they need to add I don't care how they add it well I kind of do but they need to add something that will allow you to trade NX between accounts because I'm sick of this Aaron and Evan. Oh, they will. They will. Are they going to do that? Um. Okay. So if you slash type in um slash question mark, the the data is in Global Maple Story. Um. I've played around in it with Maple Story Europe, and um, basically the data is in Maple Story Global. And if you type in slash question mark, um, it there's like this one thing that says uh trading m uh and next items next on items, and like you kind of uh type in slash trade and X or something like that and you type in your birthday but then it DCs you. I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's like type slash and X or whatever, but um something similar and then it just disconnects you. But uh they will add it and I can't wait. But I think it's gonna be like um like after you buy something you can only trade it once. Oh, okay, kinda like stages of karma type deal. Or like yeah, the but they might they might not do that in Global Maple Story. They might have, like, you know, trade as many times as you want. But, yeah. Do you guys think they're going to have the separate cash up inventory for dual blades? They will. Oh, I hate that. I was expecting to transfer, like, all my kind of cash up, permanent cash up items from my Bowmaster to my um, dual blader, but I can't now. And my permanent pet and everything. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's upsetting, isn't it? It's really yeah. weird because uh, dubliners aren't legends, so they shouldn't have a separate cash up. Yeah, they're technically explorers. Yeah. Do you know if they're going to be guess... able to do mon? Um. They. Yeah. They probably will be. That would be nice because oh. that's I've never done that. The uh, strange I, I... thing is that you have to click them through the uh, create a character screen, like as an Aaron or explorer, Sidness Knight. Yeah, and they're only limited time, I heard, from uh, Korean Maple Story, but they might change it for Global, but I doubt it. I read somewhere that in Korea they were temporary, but then every once in a while they bring them back for registration. Yeah, I think th what they'll do in Global is um, they'll probably have it, like, uh, temporary for a while, and then you can pay to make a dual blader, kind of, with an X. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. It's probably exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna. It'll probably be in like set up like, for it. Like you see those like cash up slots that, let's say um out of stock or something like that. I'll probably add it in one of those. Like uh, uh, premium items or. I'll be honest when I say, uh, I don't mind paying for my mastery books for the dual blade because it's a class that I'm genuinely excited for. 
So yeah. I wouldn't mind paying an X to register the class. But uh, I think for new players to MapleStory, they're missing out on a lot if they're going to add that for Dual Blades. Like, they're not going to have the chance to play a really good class because they'll have to pay money for it. Um, no, not exactly, because unlike uh, events, they're not going to be... You're not going to have to pay to... You're not going to have to have to pay to make a... Get the Mastery Books. They actually drop for monsters on, like, events. Oh, they events. actually drop? I heard rumors that the Evan Mastery Books dropped, but they... I haven't no. seen them. Oh, well, they do, but um, I don't think they're... I, I have, like, uh, one Evan Mastery book, actually. But the, I'm not sure for what job it is. The killer thing is that they have to buy Magic Guard, and that's, like, one of the essential things for a mage. Yeah, I bought Yeah, one. actually, I, uh, I killed some bosses, and I found a couple of Evan Mastery books. Yeah. Oh, so they do drop in-game. Well, that's decent, then. But I don't think Magic Guard does, because they still have it in the cash shop. Yeah, because isn't that like a first job mastery book? Um, it's like third job or, th- or second. Yeah, probably second. You're not yeah, gonna get very bizarre. far as an Evan or as any mage if you don't get ma- if, you, if you don't get magic guard. So I don't know why they chose magic guard to pay annex for. They should have chose something else. Yeah. Well, I guess it costs quite a bit of money to develop a class, and then like all the starting zones and implant it into the game and. Yeah, but you have to also factor in how much money Next on America makes, which is a crap load. Yeah, they do. Especially with all these events and stuff. You honestly think they could have some kind of proper customer service in place? Because, like, you, they don't even have a phone number you can call. I mean, McDonald's has a better customer service than Next on America, and that's a corporation. Just um, like McDonald's, I guess, but it's kind of yeah. retarded. Even Next on Europe has a phone number that you can call. I'll check online right now. Um, I mean, Next on America well, has a phone number, but uh, there's people that have called it, and they they just say to them, they're like, oh, yeah, Next on America, we're not customer service. Sorry, we don't do that here. Oh. If I, the thing I'm worried about, if like I ever get permanent banned, I don't know what I'll do. Cry. <laughs> I was just like, what would you do if you got permanent banned? Um, if I got permanent banned on my main character, I would, I wouldn't say that I would quit Maple, I'd g- try again, but I'd be pretty up, pretty mean to everyone that talked to me, that's for sure. Mm. I'd be I'd probably like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard, I'd call them so much. Just harass them, send them hate mail. <laughs> kidnap the just... CEO's daughter and hold her for ransom for your MapleStory account. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you just like maybe like say that you're gonna like cut your wrist or something. And they don't <laughs> unman you. Destroy them with an ion cannon. Yeah, I get an ion cannon. Oh yeah, <laughs> or just like threaten them. Oh, I'm gonna start World of Warcraft after. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that that could work. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard some like people got permanent ban for no reason. I was just like thinking, what would I do in that situation? You'd have to file a ticket, and then you'd get a response a year later. Yeah, and they would say, "Sorry, there's nothing you can do about it." Yeah, that's exactly what they would say. <laughs> well, uh, on uh, Sleepy Wood, isn't there a GM that signed up on Sleepy Wood? Um, I think that I think Heim s- guy. Oh yeah, Haim, um, he's on the official Nexon um, forums. Yeah, I don't know if he's a GM or if he's just a moderator for the forums, for the Nexon forums, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's a GM. I think he's both, maybe. He's probably the creator of Nexon America, trolling everybody. Oh yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> um, I like, think is that... I'd like Sorry. to go to a meet and greet to see, to meet next on GMs and see how much English they speak. Oh, have you seen those pictures? Okay. They basically make at the NPCs in the game um, look like actual people. Do they really? Like, so they're, Yeah, there's like pictures. I think we can like put it up on like when we post the podcast or something. But um, there's actual pictures that uh, the guy has the NPC right beside his head and like he smiles. It looks just like him. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> they did that for Mass Effect 2. The Miranda character is based, is voiced and based off someone in real life. That's kind of strange yeah. to see something like that. You know Gaga in Maple Story? Yeah, that douchebag with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, he's actually based off a real person. <laughs> really? I'd hate to be yeah. that guy. <laughs> Imagine if he's listening right now. Yeah, screw him. I hate you, Gaga. <laughs> and your artifact permit, I hate you. Ah, uh, that really got me annoyed. Yeah. I'm surprised they like, didn't add it. Let's sit 24-7 yeah. trying to get them. And then when you try, like, and you sit there for six hours a day, and they just no zoom chance. past you, like, no yeah. problem. Did you do that artifact thing, Landon? Uh, I did a little bit, and now I was just like, fuck it. People are so far ahead of me, there's no way I was going to catch up. Yeah, it's pretty hard to catch up once it's already started for the week. I'm sure they'll yeah, bring some... it back. I remember some guy, um, I'm not... yeah, it was in our guild. I think he left now. Uh, he wanted help, so I helped him out for like an hour or two. He was trying to do it, but I think he he got like first or second place, I forgot. He was sitting there basically for 24 7 trying to do that. Maybe he was botting. No, no, he was actually like talking to me and we were. Oh, really? Kind of, yeah. Must have killed him. <laughs> uh, speaking of drop rates, do you guys think that the two times drop in cash up actually works? Because I've used it like so many times and I get nothing drop wise. I think that it does work, but I think that the family drop rate does not work. I have no idea. I've never bought. Well, I. Okay, it does drop. It does work, actually. Um, I've done it for. Um, what is it? Uh, Liddy Mays PQ. Ellen PQ. Oh, for the and, tickets. Um, yeah, I basically kind of used the family uh, drop rate, like, uh, party, and we got 15k experience uh, every minute from doing it. Okay, have you ever done LPQ? Uh, LMPQ. The, the Maze PQ, yes. yeah? Yep. Yes. Okay, they actually revamped that. Yeah, uh, I read something about that, patch. too. Yeah, that's another thing about the nerf patch. They uh, they changed all the EXP rates for all the PQs, I think, for yeah, more. Um, they also added a new monster, didn't they? Yeah, in this patch that just came out, like in Global Maple, sorry, um, not the nerf patch, they changed the monster, so it's it actually... You oh you get 15k experience, but it just takes longer the fight. It's like two times longer or something, so just does it. So it's not going to be as good as it used to be. Mm. It's not Tormasus anymore, is it? It's like a moon bunny, I think. Yeah, it's something like a moon bunny. I haven't done it. I really want to do it. Try it out. But of course, nobody will be there because this is Cradia, and Cradia's empty. Yeah, I like it that way, though. Yeah, I don't mind it this way, but I wish there were kind of a bit more people because I kind of made a level 11 in Scania and I was like walking around Henesis and there were people like talking about their lives. I yeah. was just like walking past and I just saw people like random people talking to each other. I was just like, oh. Yeah, I've been Scania before and uh, yeah. it's pretty packed. Like there's free market 2 stuff. There's, or there, I mean, in Channel 2 free market, there's stores. Yeah, uh, there used to be in Cradia. But something happened and everybody kind of quit. There's a a lot of my buddies are moving to uh, Yolande. Moving where? To Yolande or whatever you call it. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. I heard. Oh, some guy came up to me like in the FM. He said him and like ten other buddies are coming over to Credia, and he was like browsing the FM, and he was like, "There are no shops and like." FM 12, but I was like, oh, well, this is crowded. Yeah, it's empty. It makes it good for bossing, though, which is something that yeah I like to do occasionally. But I wish there were, like, um, you know those thing, you know that new feature that you can look for raids, expeditions? Yeah. I wish people actually put up a notice for that. I think it's fairly new, though, so I think in, in the future we'll see more of that. Yeah. I think we'll also see more people coming to Cradia. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, on the topic of mechanic class, um, they posted uh, the NPC, the job instructor for him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a teddy bear guy, which is really odd. I saw but, that. Uh, resistance class, 
uh, job instructors. They all have the black wing logo on them, which is like a purple circle with wings. Does that um, have to yeah. do with the black magician? Uh, yeah. And we don't know. It's either the resistance to fighting the black wings or the resistance to the adventurers. Who knows? But uh, mm. the funny thing about the uh, new mechanic uh, town, or I assume the instructor will be, is there's like an alter ego of every job instructor from uh, like the mechanic and the uh, resistance class. There's like a good version and a bad version of them. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I saw that. That was pretty weird. I didn't really get uh, what that actually meant, but thank you, Landon. All right, guys. Uh, I think we've covered just about everything for this podcast. We've reached over an hour, which uh, I didn't expect, but it turned out pretty good. Same. <laughs> um, yeah. Anything you guys want to add before we close this off? Um, yeah, next weekend. Uh, well, next week, kind of tune in. We'll be talking about more stuff. Yeah, we'll be talking about uh, quests, maybe our favorite quests, or least favorite quests. We'll be talking uh, about some E3 stuff, which I like to yeah, talk about. Yeah, get some E3 action in this. Yeah, there's lots of games oh, yeah. that I like, and I'm sure you guys like. And uh, Two weeks old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, what will be next week for you guys on ABA Podcast. And uh, when you listen to this, we'll have the ABA Podcast uh We'll have a separate section set up for it, and we'll set up a form so that if anyone wants to chat, they can do that. And uh, we'll make and it in iTunes. Yeah, we'll put it in iTunes, and uh, we'll make it accessible for just about anybody. Um, yeah. So when you put it in iTunes, just put it like uh, Maple Story Eight Bit, so more people check it out. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. this will pick up, and we'll be the 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 only Maple Story podcast on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's no other Maple Street broadcasts on. Maybe we'll become famous and then they give us freebie. So, yeah, let's hope. <laughs> oh yeah, we could force them to pay us miso to continue the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first episode of Eight Bit Podcast. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, it was fun. I really liked it actually. And uh, yeah, that's about yeah. it. Eightbitguild.com. Thanks. Say bye, guys. Bye. Peace.